Hi everyone and welcome back to another Create 8 feature. This is where once in a month I am creating 8 cards using products from the latest release by my favorite things. Now this is a new die which is called Circle Trio, Shaker Window and Frame. So it cuts out 3 windows in a row and it also gives you an extra die to cut out a frame if you want to place it on top and uh, make it look more finished. So I'm going to run this panel through my Big Shot and this is slightly smaller than a standard card. And they have came up with uh, pouches, as you can see here, that fit nicely inside those three windows. Now, of course, you can use them to create shaker cards, but for this card, I am not going to use it at all. This is again a new stamp set, which is called Playful Giraffes, and as you can see, it comes with three different designs of uh, giraffes, each of them looking on another direction or in a different position. There are also matching dies. Now I'm going to stamp this giraffe with orange and I'm using my stamping platform. This way I can stamp directly on top of it and I can bring in a little bit of uh, brown as well just to have um, a giraffe that is not completely flat and it has some shading in different areas. So I'm just going to touch the ink here and there. Now I'm going to play a little bit with stamping here and the idea is to create a neck that is more stretched than it actually is. So I have a part of the neck there, now I'm placing my stamp on top a little bit more far up and then I'm going to stamp again. So this way I will end up having a neck that is really really long. And I'm adding my Nuvo alcohol markers to add some color at the face of my giraffe and then I'm going to use the matching dies to cut her out. And since the super long neck is uh, totally custom made, there is not a die for that. So I'm just using my scissors, which is super easy to cut out since it's just a straight line. And now this is the fun part where I'm going to place my giraffe looking through those windows. So I'm going to make her look as if she has a super long neck. So I'm going to place the giraffe at the bottom. Now I'm going to use my scissors and cut off the neck with the head which I'm going to use later on for the third window, just like so. So I'm just trying to, to see how it looks and then I'm going to stick everything down. Now I'm working on my card base and uh, I'm inking up different areas which are going to show through the little windows. So I have inked up the bottom with green and now I'm going to add some blue at the top to be the sky. I am removing all this purple tape that I used to make sure that I keep everything nice and neat. And I'm not throwing this purple tape away, I will be using it again and again. So when I place this panel on top, you can see that I have a little bit of a background showing through those windows. I used foam tape at the back of this panel, I'm going to stick it down. And I have used an older die by my favorite things that cuts out those leaves, which I'm going to stick coming through the windows as well just to add one more extra touch on the card. And finally I'm going to stick down my sentiment that says everything wonderful is within your reach, which is a sentiment from the same stamp set as the giraffe. And this is going to complete my card. For my next card, I'm going to use one of the images from the adorable Fall Friends stamp set. This is so adorable. I love this little uh, girl that is uh, sitting on top of the pumpkin. But for this specific card, I will not use the pumpkin at all, just to show you another way of how you can use your stamps and make the most out of them, so you can get completely different looks. Now I'm going to use my Nuvo alcohol markers to color everything, and I will move the video forward where I have cut out my image. So this is what you get when you use the matching tie, however I don't want the pumpkin and I'm just going to use my scissors and cut it out, leaving a small border just like the rest of the image, so everything matches nicely. And now that these two are separated, you can have your little girl sit on everything you desire. Now I'm going again to use the same trio die, just like I did for the first card, but this time I'm going to show you another way. I'm going to use the plastic pouches, but not all three of them. I will only create shaker windows for the top and the bottom uh, circle, and uh, I am going to leave the middle circle as is, so I can uh, 
place my little girl there and she's going to look as if she's sitting there. So I used um, glue all around. Now I'm going to add my plastic pouches. And I look through my stash to find some uh, appropriate uh, shaker mixes. And these are the ones I found from uh, last year or maybe a couple of years ago. I don't know if they are still available, but I will try and find some uh, shaker mixes that they would match fall cards. So I'm going to add those at the top and at the bottom where my pouches are. And then I'm going to stick on top my card base. Now in the stamp set there are many sentiments that you can use, perfect for fall cards and Thanksgiving cards. However, since I am trying to showcase pretty much all the products from the latest release, I'm going to use this stamp set, which is full of sentiments, perfect for pretty much any occasion. So you get uh, with sympathy, get well soon, happy birthday, happy holiday, smile, hugs, so many different uh, options there. And uh, I decided to go with the one that says hugs and kisses, but I need to have an empty space in between. So I'm going to cut this in half and um, I will separate it a little bit. And then I'm going to uh, stamp it with Versa marking and then white emboss it. And here is my sentiment ready to go. As you can see, I do have a gap in between the words. So when I place my little girl on top, she's not going to cover up the message. I'm using some uh, foam squares at the top of her head so that she is a little bit raised. Since the sentiment is also raised, so everything is not going to be nice and leveled. And my card is ready and of course this would make a beautiful Thanksgiving card as well. For the next card I'm going to use this new stamp set which is called Mod Birds. It comes with um, layering uh, stamps of birds and flowers and leaves and I love that you can use them to create really, really folklore looking cards. Now for this card I'm going to go super simple. Of course you can add color, you can stamp everything with different ink pads but for today I'm going for a monochromatic look and I'm going to do lots of white embossing. So I'm going to stamp the bird pretty much at the center so this is going to be the focal point of my card and then I'm going to stamp different images all around. I'm not going to stamp any other bird though. Now since I'm working with a Versa marking I won't be able to see a lot of what I'm doing. So uh, in the middle of stamping I will stop and add my embossing powder. This way I will be able to see what I've done so far and then I can go ahead and continue stamping. The idea is to create my own pattern paper which is going to be blue and white. So here I am stamping again trying to fill in all the gaps with smaller images from the stamp set. Then again I'm going to apply embossing powder and heat set everything and here is the finished panel. Now if you know me, you know that I love dimension and this panel has no dimension whatsoever. So here is what I came up with. I'm going to stick this banner at the bottom. I'm going to run it through my big shot. This is going to give me this empty hole where I can stamp the sentiment directly on my card front. And I can raise this panel with foam tapes. Now the stamp set with the birds has um, lots of sentiments that you can use. Instead I decided to go with uh, again with one of the sentiments from the Greetings Galore stamp set. And I'm going to stamp You Are The Best with blue ink. I used foam tape at the back so this is uh, nicely raised. And to finish off my card I'm going to add some white Nouveau drops at the center of some of the flowers. For my next tie I'm going to do some inking at the background of my card. So I'm using this stencil from an oldest uh, release by my favorite things, one of my favorites and I keep using it again and again. So I'm just going over it with my Distress Oxide ink, creating those clouds there and I'm going for a birthday card. I'm going to use this new die that cuts out the word happy birthday and I will combine it with some of those balloons from the new stamp set which is called bundle of balloons. So you see I have cut out the word happy birthday from my background panel and I have also used the matching dies of these balloons to cut out three balloons 
which I am going to ink up with my Distress Oxide inks. Of course, to add color, you can use your favorite coloring medium. They can be your um, alcohol markers, your water coloring, or you can even die cut those balloons from uh, colored cardstock. Now it's time to put everything together and I need to stick this panel directly on top of my card base. So I'm adding some uh, tape at the back and I have also cut out the word happy birthday using the same die out of black cardstock. And just because I want to place it inside those uh, gaps, I am adding some double sided tape at the back because I find that this is the easiest way. You will see what I mean. So I'm going to completely cover up the back. I'm going to peel off the backing and then I do have this place which is sticky completely on every gap that you see. I'm going to place it on top of my card base and then I do have that part sticky and I can place inside the happy birthday die cut that I have already made. And as you can see, it falls right inside. I will do the same thing for the word happy. And then I do have some empty spaces, which I'm going to fill up since I kept all those uh, die cut parts from the beginning. I like to place the other word on top and just press on uh, the little areas with my needle tool and it sticks right there. Now I'm trying to decide where the balloons are going to go. I am going to stamp uh, with black ink the strings. And then uh, all I have to do is to just peel off uh, the foam squares that I have at the back of the balloons and just stick them there. I love that uh, you can hand out this card to both boys or girls. And you can also use uh, the favorite color of your recipient to color the balloons. And customize it. So let's move on to the next card. I used the word hello which I have die cut. This is a new die from my favorite things. I am going to uh, keep the cutouts because I will use the inside parts later on. And I am going to stamp uh, flowers and leaves from the wildflowers stamp set. This is again a new stamp set and uh, I'm just going to make sure that everything comes out of the letters. And you can see how it looks here. Now I'm going to use my Prismacolor pencils to color everything, but of course you can use your favorite coloring medium to do this. Here is the finished panel. I have added some foam tape at the back and I'm going to stick it on my yellow card base. Now the word hello is uh, totally readable, so you can leave it as it is. I decided to add all those little pieces of uh, the letters, so I am going to add tiny little foam squares at the back and stick them in place. To finish off my card, I'm going to add some highlighting with my white Posca pen and I'm also going to add some gems in different areas of the card. Now I need uh, lots of uh, masculine birthday cards for my stash because my son is attending uh, two birthday parties only this weekend and there are more to come. So I decided to create one for a little boy and uh, I am going to use my Distress Oxide inks and this stencil with the triangles. This is a stencil from a previous release by my favorite things. And again, I want to make to mention that uh, you can get all the products that I'm using by my favorite things with a 25% off coupon. And you can get this coupon if you visit my blog. And you will find the link to my blog down below if you are watching on YouTube. Now as you can see I'm adding some splashes on my triangles. These are made with Distress Oxide inks, which means that they are going to react with water. And as you can see I have created a completely random pattern. I didn't try to create anything symmetrical there. And to complete that random look I'm also adding some black splashes. And here's another new die that uh, is going to cut out birthday boy and girl, three words in one set. I'm going to use the word birthday and the word boy. I'm going to die cut them from uh, black cardstock. And um, instead of using the actual letters from the word birthday, I'm just going to use the negative space. 
And as you can see, my panel with the triangles was slightly smaller than the standard card, and my card was made out of uh, black cardstock, so I ended up having a black border on one side. And I love how everything came together by using the negative space of the die cut word birthday. For the next card, I'm going to use a new stamp set full of sentiments. It's called Sassy Pants Best Friends, and all the sentiments are just so fun and hilarious. And I think it's worth to check it out on their website and read all those fun sentiments. So for this card, I thought it would be fun to show you how I like to add sentiments as focal points. So all I do is to create a lovely background and then I can just stick the sentiment at the center. The stencil I'm using is the Captivating Mandala from a previous release by My Favorite Things. And I'm using three different colors of Distress Oxide inks using the paler at the center and as I go towards the outside I go darker and darker. And for this design you can go and uh, use crazy colors for the background, it doesn't really matter if it's going to look too busy, the sentiment is going to stand out either way. And here is my favorite part where I lift off the stencil and look how gorgeous this looks, this is a really beautiful stencil. I have stamped and cut out my sentiment and I'm going to stick it at the center of this panel and as you can see I have already placed the panel on top of a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half leaving a small border at the top and at the bottom. I'm going to finish off my card by adding some gems at the same colors of my background and here are some photos of the finished card. For the last card I'm going to combine two stamp sets so you can uh, see them up close. This is um, a lovely image from uh, the Woodland Friends and since I had my Prismacolor pencils out from the previous cards I decided to go ahead and use those to color everything. And now from the second stamp set which is called Friendly Raccoons I'm going to stamp a few images as well. So I stamped a couple of leaf branches, my, a heart, a little mushroom, which I'm going to, again to color with my Prismacolor pencils and I'm going to use the matching dice to cut out everything. And I have all the little cutouts ready to go. Now before I put everything together I want to create a little background where I can nest all those cutouts just to make a little scene on top of my panel. So for that I'm going to use this stencil which I'm going to secure down with some uh, purple tape and then I will go over one of those circles with my Distress Oxide ink. And now it's time to put my little scene together. For the grass that I have cut out with older dyes, I'm using foam tape at the back. You will see that I will mix foam squares on some of the images and the glue on others. So this way I will create some dimension with having uh, the illusion of some of those are at the front and others are far at the back. So I am sticking my mushroom in place and now I am going to add a little heart and a couple of uh, tree branches which are going to complete my scene. Now with both of those stamp sets that I used for this card there are a bunch of sentiments that you can use. I decided to go with the one that says thankful for you which I stamped at the bottom with black ink and now I'm going to stick this panel on this pattern paper with uh, black and white stripes also by my favorite things. And to complete my card I'm going to add some white dots with my white Nouveau drops on my mushroom. Here are some close-up photos on the last card for today. And here are all the 8 cards together that I made for today. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below and let me know which one of those 8 cards was your favorite. And I hope this video was helpful to decide which ones of these products are for you. Now before you shop make sure to visit my blog because you will find there a 25% off coupon code for all my favorite things products. Here are some close up photos on all the cards that I made for today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.